what it's called right here. <laughs> okay, um, so today I'll show you how you can make your own multi boxing in Utopia using only notepad. So let's uh, first let's rename this because I want Okay, um, so this is a master control I made myself. Don't worry about it. So, um, first, just follow me. Yeah, just follow me. I got this. So, um, what you need to type is to set the default Just follow me. Next, let's um, make the coordinate the mode of the mouse into a client. Yeah. And then coordinate mode of a pixel into a client. Yep. And then we're gonna create a GUI. It's a graphic user interface. It's like this one. See, you can just press it. This can be anything, this can be anything. But it, it will be it will be um confusing if you change it if you don't know how programming works. So this this follow should work if you follow me. Okay after that we need um Okay, for this part I'm gonna create um
that's not going to be that in um um text like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's just text so we're gonna add text to them as the head this button it's gonna go to label set window one so whatever that label will do we will do it all right <laughs> Okay, I think you can hear me now, right? Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Here we go. So we need um 200, 200, 280 plus 275. Let's make it 276. 150 H32G show window one. Show so window you add, add button on y plus 9 something h22 show window 2 show window 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 it's okay if it's like that it's okay don't worry about it 10 9 eight seven six five four three i'm missing one more 
okay so we have a set window we have a hide window we have a show window we need a button that starts and stops the multi multi boxing okay so we're gonna add a um, bigger button bigger bigger button in the bottom gui add button let's make it um 360 yeah yeah 360 we 110 it's gonna be big right so we just 110 and the height is 30 we're gonna call this um start button <laughs> This one we don't need to make um we don't need to name this each buttons we don't need to name that because but this one we need to because um I want it to be interactive so when you press the start button the start button can no longer be pressed unless you press the stop button so that you know if it's multi boxing or not right so it's gonna go to um is Start multi boxing. Multi boxing. So it's gonna say start multi boxing. The button is gonna say start multi boxing. So if you press that, it's gonna go to start multi boxing. <laughs> GUI add button x plus 10 with 110. Height is 30. Same thing, same thing. We stop button. Stop button G. Stop multi boxing boxing gonna stop multi boxing and then just for the sake of you know um you know yeah, we're gonna add another button it's just for the sake of this design we don't want to high 30 yep that's it we don't need to do anything here so the bottom of that we're gonna add an uh, we're gonna add a more things x then y 330 400 with a width of 110 height of 30 let's not add anything there because there's gonna be three but we only need to use two for the reload and exit <laughs> I like I like I like putting a reload and exit because it's no easier but it's kind of you know dangerous dangerous if you say because if you hide your window and then you press reload it's gone it's gone you can only find them in the task manager and you won't have any way to show it unless you do you know unless you do this <laughs> reload okay so it's gonna reload yeah it's gonna go to reloader and it's called reload yep okay let's make another button x plus 10 with 110 height 30 g um g u i close um exit up all right after that we're gonna call her our g u i we um i like my you know i like my um my blue color is you know you know my logo blue <laughs> so it's gonna be uh, I think it's I think it was I think it was yeah yeah for okay GUI show now we're gonna show all of this we're gonna show all of this and then we're gonna here you can you can you know you can mess with it if you want the GUI the width to be you know thousand million and the height to be million <laughs> but if you don't put anything there with the if you don't specify the height and the width uh, it will it will be like like this you see this uh, master control if you add three buttons at this size it's gonna expand to that it's gonna expand to that right it did expand to that so and then if you add you know this much yeah it's gonna expand if you don't put if you don't put anything there so yeah i'm just gonna let it expand itself 
and then the title this will be the title I'm gonna call it um Grotopia multi boxing so right now we're on line 82 by the way this is called a programming <laughs> so we gonna put a return here so that our labels doesn't start as soon as you run this so this one will return do nothing it won't it won't run anything right here unless you press the window i mean the button I'm back. okay so um, first let's make a stop and play button right so stop multi boxing gui control disable the stop button we're gonna disable the stop button when you press the stop so you know that you can't stop it meaning it's playing since you can't stop it right and then when you stop the stop button will be disabled we need to enable the start button okay and then we're gonna turn on the suspend since it stop turn on the suspend meaning every hotkeys will be suspended it won't work it won't work so that's what suspends for and then we're gonna put a return so that after it does this three thing it's gonna stop right there okay next um let's make our start multi boxing gy control this time we need to disable our start button and then enable our stop button can you guys see it maybe there's a yeah you guys get sorry my bad so you cannot see that so i'm just gonna put it right there can you see Yep, should be good, right? Okay, sorry about that. My bad, my bad. Okay, <sighs> in case you need time to to follow along, I'll give you time. Okay, I think it's ready. Let's go. Um, let's go move on. Let me just put it down so it's easier. Next, let's make the reloader, and then just type in reload. Yep, that's it. Should be easy, right? Just reload. And then for the GUI close, it's gonna exit the app. Exit app. Return. Okay. And then let's do the hide windows. I think it's like this, right? I call it window hide window one right. Yep, I think I did. Win hide. This is a variable calling the variable window one. So if you set the window, it's gonna put the window name into the edit. So there's now there's a uh, something on the edit. There's something on the edit, and then whatever is in that edit box called window one, it's gonna hide it. Win hide. It's gonna hide it. Whatever is okay. And then we just read oh my god it, my butt hurts <laughs> okay now we need 10 of this 10 of this right one two three oops that's ugly one two three four five six seven eight nine ten whatever whatever okay we'll just fix it yep 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 oh my god it's ugly Okay, let's start from two. This one's going to be two. Of course, it's gonna hide two. The three, third button is gonna hide the third one. The fourth is gonna hide the fourth one. Five, Sorry. six. And then eight, nine, 
10 yep that's it so after hide window of course we need, we need to do the show window okay let's do the show window show window one um win show same thing window one and then I'll return right so let me just copy it from here so that you know I don't have to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay ten 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 oh my word it's supposed to be nine nine and then eight Oh, eight, and one. So we have a hide and a show. Should, should work and then what else did we need we have a set hide and show oh yeah the the master the master window the master window right so my bad i forget about that set master window to start at wait a second uh, okay for this one, I think I'm gonna make um. Hold on, let me just keep press the Alright, so um, I actually forgot what it's called, but something with like this, is it something like that, and then we can use that over and over again, just like a label, we can, but it's different than label, it gives a value, <coughs> never mind, I won't, uh, if you guys know what that's called, please comment down there, I kind of forgot, target window, yep, we're gonna call, we're gonna put the value in a, variable yep set window mm. set window i don't think this is gonna work if we keep using it one by one mm. i mean if we keep using it all the same thing over and over again i think we're gonna have to actually you know what I'm scared of bugs. I hate bugs. I'm just gonna make it. I'm just gonna make it something like simple. I mean, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna do it the hard way. So sorry about that. I have to do it the hard way. I'm not sure if the other way would work. So yeah, just bear with me. Bear with me. Sorry about that. Okay, so what did I what did I do here? So if they press the set master window, like set window, it goes here. So if they press that, it's gonna go here, and then the value of this whatever this happened to be, whatever that window was, it's gonna set that edit to that value. Okay. So that's what that's what's happening here. Um, I, I think I just put a return. Actually, no. I think it would work if I just put return. But to be, to be sure, I'll just put submit here. Okay. And then same thing. 
I think I'll do 10 times two. Yep, 10 times right. This time it's gonna be set window one. Set window one. Master window. Window one. Yep. So we have one. Wait. I have a set. I don't have a hidden a show for the master window. I so we don't need that, right? I don't think we need that because the master window is the one that we need to control everything. So it should work like this, right? I think so. That's what that's what I think. Yeah, let's have that. I don't wanna uh, I don't wanna, you know, mess up my GUI. So just just bear with it. Also I need ten of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's gonna be ten, ten, ten. Oh my god, this is hard. Ten, I mean nine, 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 eight, eight, eight. I wish I could use my bot to automate making this, but you guys won't be able to follow it, so I'm doing it manually. Yeah, I'm doing it manually just for you. Make sure you subscribe. Yep, make sure you subscribe, man. Five, five. You know what? This is going to. This is going to change the Cryptopia world. Everyone will be able to use uh, multi boxing for free without a, without a virus. So I think everyone would use it. Would make it themselves. Also, it's better if you make it yourself than you know, um, download from someone else that just made it from you. Maybe they will put a virus or something. So it's better if you just make it yourself. Okay. Now that we have this, the set window up to ten. Um. Oh, I forgot about the. Updater, oh yeah, my bad, my bad, updater, so I'll just put it around here, um, GUI submit, no hide, and a return, okay, what else am I missing, what else are we missing, oh yeah, we're missing this, 10 of this, whatever it's called, I forgot, <laughs> and then after that, we're going to create the multi -boxing. I'm gonna program that okay from left button right button the movements this is just the hard part I mean when we're on when we go to the multi boxing part it's gonna be easy it's gonna be easy okay so um how do we what what do we need um where are we oh yeah that's set window right okay so to set okay let's let me let me see let me see set window master first let's do the master and it's going to be target window and then okay I'll just make it like this is press zero and then I gonna be zero just follow me this is this is kind of hard to it's kind of hard to to explain because this is this is like the the advanced stuff yeah this is the advanced stuff so the left mouse get key state L button I'm gonna take the key state of the left button if ever, if they press yet or not. Then I'm gonna get the title. Oh my bad, Okay. And then I'll just I'll just add a little to make it. You know, 
you know easy to understand left click on the target window twice to set this end is like a new line so it does it so it won't be like the tooltip won't be like one long sentence going to be a sentence and then under that just another one under that under that the current window is the temp window okay so if Okay, let me just if if the left mouse is equal to false and and is press is equal to zero then is press will become one else if left mouse left mouse is equal to true and is press is equal to one let's let me make this big i'm scared of bugs i don't wanna i don't wanna debug over and over again <laughs> then else wait where am i oh yeah this is home else if it's press, yep. If, yep, yep. Else, yep. It's just gonna be okay. Just going to be a lot. I think so. So I plus plus to zero. The one that's zero is going to be. It's going to add one to it, and then it's. Yep, I'm just going to put back the is press back to zero. And then if I is greater to two, it's greater than two. If it's greater than two, uh, win set. I'm gonna set the title to set the title, the active ti the active to master window. Right, this is the master window. Right, master window. Okay. Okay. And then after that, we're going to get that title. We get title. Target window is the active. Oh yeah, that will tip. Of course, we have to remove that will tip so that it won't bother you. So we're going to break it right here. Break the loop down here. And close the loop. Close the loop. How many loops are there? One is here, one is here, one is in the loop. Okay. Okay, after the loop, it's going to be. It's going to return target window. So, whatever the value is. It's gonna return that and we just close that okay yep that's basically it we're just gonna copy this copy you know copy and then paste it we're gonna call it set window one the only thing we need to change here is the title yep just the title I'm gonna name it one group profile I think this is easier to and this is going to be two two utopia I pasted it three three utopia we need ten right four four utopia I think ten is like five five to ten is like the average of what a computer can use unless you wanna go overboard five I'm in the right row. Four, five, okay. Six. If you wanna, you know, 
you know spam then maybe 30 you need 30 or something but if you're gonna farm you only need 10 10 is like the maximum already 8 where are we? 8 100 okay 7 8 9 10 10 let me save it first okay okay so we now have the set windows what else do we need um, I think that's it I think that's it um, okay I'm just gonna set a command to force force close it this means see this means if you press control escape it's gonna close the application the program so that if ever there's like a you know bug or something you just force close it but this will not work unless this will not work if you turn it turned off if you suspended it remember here if, if it's turned on meaning if it's off and you have to turn on the multiboxing to make this work so turn it on and then control escape to force close the program now now we're going to do the mouse mouse the mouse um multiboxing yep we're um, I'm gonna put this in the way, way bottom. Okay. Right uh here. -huh. Mm. Yep. Left button. You uh, notice that earlier I put one like that, whatever that's called, one, and now we're gonna use two. One means it's a label. You can call it. You can call it whenever you want. But this two means it's a hotkey. It is a hotkey. So whenever I press my left button, it's gonna do anything here unless suspend is on. So you have to turn on the multiboxing to make this work. <laughs> okay, first let's get the title of the window that's active. Get window active active oh my bad. active window that's active like active the mouse get and then get the position of the mouse mouse click on x mouse click on y so if the active window is equal to the master window then control click Window 1, left button, and uh, X coordinate of the mouse click on X, and uh, Y coordinates of the mouse click, oops, my bad, it's a variable, so we have to put that, mouse click on Y, and then close it, and then of course we have to put NA so that even if it's hidden, it will, sh it should still work, it won't you know it won't it won't pop up the the process to just press so and then we're gonna put it down if it's holding down it's gonna be down so we just need to do this ten times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten the only thing that's going to change is the window 10 9 8 7 6 oh my bad what's what's happening what's happening 6 5 4 3 2 1 okay what, what happened here oh okay so I think that should be good. I think it should be good if it's active. Otherwise, 
going to, it's going to just return do nothing and then when you this is going just gonna hold the left button down so we need to pick another one L button up uh, we only need this we only need this um, Okay. Instead of down, it's going to be up. It's going to be up. Okay. And then a return. Just a return. That's it. That's it. Left button is now multi-boxing. <laughs> but we want more. Not just left button. We want to move it like using the keyboard. So we'll use W, list W, this W. We get title, same thing. Active window A, but this time we don't have to get the mouse position because it's just a win. It's just a, it's not a mouse. We're using a keyboard. W. So my bad. If the active window is equal to the master window. gonna do this otherwise return so for this time we're not gonna use control click we're gonna use control send because we're using we're using um we're using um keyboard it's not a click it's a send we're gonna send it yeah. window one I think that's it yep I think yep I think that's it window one okay one oh I hate this just okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and then we need it on up button w up right like i did here yep up so we don't need that we only need this and we just put it down right ah. oh my god okay now that it's up we need to change this into up 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 it's going to be up to be up to be up It's going to be up, it's going to be up, it's going to be up, ah, oh, this is so tiring. It's going to be up. So 1 to 10 is up, and then we just return it. Okay. So this is going to activate anyway, but it's just up. Just press it up, so it actually doesn't matter. I think it does matter. I think it doesn't matter. Um. So, if it's not on the window, but we press it up, it's gonna send on the window. Oh, yep, it doesn't matter. It's just gonna send it in the window, not our clicks. Yep. Okay. W is done. Let's go on W A. Go on A. A down for this part make sure that it's not capital make sure that it's small a if it's capital it's gonna send shift a not just a okay
Next. S. We're gonna make it an S. S. S down. 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 S. S down. S down. S down. See? I like it like this. It's fun. So we're on S. A. Uh, I mean S. Sorry about that. Kind of get confused. S. 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 W A S and then the D. We need the D, of course. We need the D. We need the D. Everybody needs D. <laughs> D D D D D D D D D D. So many D. All right. The up D. The up D D. D D D D D D D D D So we have W A S D right now. Um, I think I'm gonna stop here. I'm not gonna um, work on Q E R T the other letters, but I'm gonna show you the space bar. Space. Yep, just like that. Space. Space bar. So. So space, 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 and the space up. Space up, space up, space is what we use to punch, but you must, um, you must, um, you must fix it first in the hotkeys in the settings of Grotopia. Yep, I like using in space as a punch, because it's the, yeah, just me. Maybe you guys will do it for jump or something, but. I like using it as, as a punch. Like you know, if in the shooting game, like you're walking in double, use the jump, and then space is the boom boom. <laughs> Actually, no, but yeah. Next, I need. Uh, I need um. What else do I need? The enter key, of course, or the es escape. Escape. You guys know what? Escape. Yep. Escape. ESC 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 and then we need the app for ESC Okay, yes, E, 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 yes, E. What else? Um, so we we don't really use control. We don't use Alt. We use tab and enter and backspace, right? So we use we're gonna use um backspace is really important so that you can go to the same world automatically easily. So we need is the let's do tab first tab. Dub, dub, dub. Dub. 
tub 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 and then the tub up you go down I don't need you tub up tub up tub 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 enter tub tub enter tub tub enter next enter 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 down 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 okay and then the up enter up oh my god this is boring enter up 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 Enter up. Enter up. Enter up. Okay. Enter up. Enter up. Enter up. Enter is done. We need the back space. Hold on. I don't remember back space. Let me just confirm if it's just a back space or. Uh, uh, let me just confirm. It's real cold in here. <sighs> yep, backspace. Oops, sorry. So it's just a backspace. So where are we at? Gonna copy that, paste it here. So backspace, backspace, backspace. I think I'm just gonna copy this down and just paste it in here, paste it in here, paste it in here. I think that's way faster than typing it down. I don't know about you guys, maybe you guys are fast typers, I'm not. So I'll just do it like this. Alright. I think you can control this shift tab. Oh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. And then backspace up. Backspace up. Backspace. I'm just gonna copy it again. Paste it in here, paste it in here, paste it in here. Yep, see it was it was way way faster than before. How did they not think of that? Okay, bow space, bow space, bow space. Yep. What else? So we have enter, bow space, escape, tab, space bar, W A S D. I think that we got everything we're not gonna do the up down left right arrow keys because we can use the WASD right so after this we need up we need to save it as UTF8 all files multi boxing whatever you wanna call it that AHK okay let me go in the file yep so right now it looks like this with an H like that but 
it might not be in your case so let me go ahead and I don't remember what program and delete mine I'm gonna delete mine uninstall uninstall close all set up now uninstall okay okay refresh okay man still look like that but it shouldn't be like that alright so if you, if yours doesn't look like that it's fine here's how you do it you go here you go to a uh, google chrome go to google chrome you search up auto hotkey you press auto hotkey you press download it's safe it's safe absolutely absolutely safe 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 this is uh one of the programming languages so it's 100 percent safe so you just go you just go on express and then it's installation complete it's now done you exit it out and then you can search you can search on your window um convert auto hotkey dot exe it should come up there because it's already installed i'm just gonna close it next you're gonna browse and then in the desktop we have this this is the one we made from notepad this is the one we made from notepad you know autoboxing.ahk auto hotkey and we're gonna open that and then we're gonna put yeah wherever you wanna put it so i'm just gonna put it on multi boxing software oh, actually let's make it a uh, group top yeah Grow top yeah multi boxing software and then this doesn't have to if you want a logo you can make your own logo you know do i have a logo here um okay you know what i'm just gonna make it i'm just i'm just gonna not gonna put any logo there then just press convert you can also choose you can also choose here if you want it to be ANSI 32-bit or Unicode 32-bit or Unicode 64-bit but I'll just leave it as default for now and I won't compress okay now we have this it's an application so I'll just run it see yep it worked it worked I was afraid it's not gonna work but it did work okay oh yeah the next part is this one you need a sandboxy sandboxy where's my sandboxy here sandboxy i have it right now but i'm gonna uninstall it just for you uninstall yep uninstall would you like to keep your sandboxy that in a configuration file yep so that i can still have my save files Yep, complete. I want to manually reboot later. But in your case you should reboot you should reboot. Yep, you should reboot. It's way better if you reboot. So next, um actually actually why would you reboot? You don't even have it yet. Okay. So you go to Google Chrome again or whatever browser you have, you type in sunboxy. Not dot com, it's not gonna work. If I put sunboxy.com it will oh it did work but maybe in your case it won't work you just go on sandboxy and then you press this one and then you uh, whatever your whatever your computer is you press 32 you press 32 bit if you're on 32 bit you press 64 bit if you you're on 64 bit mine I'm on 64 bit so I'm gonna press it it should show the same thing anyway but it, w it will download the different things so i accept that you submit software export compliance due to requirements of the u.s government export compliance is now mandatory when downloading a software complete the form to proceed with your download so in here you can put anything like get up there put gg automation gg automation.tml.com job role i'm the uh, 
RTX RTX active uh to see automation nope nope industry where um um where's that Where's that? Okay, so we have uh, biotechnology, consumer press, educational, local, whatever, 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 ISP. Nope, internet service provider, nope, manufacturing, non profit, other utility. So maybe I'll just put services. Telecommunication? No. I'll just put other. And then Guam, state province, yep. Guam, 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 and Guam. Submit. Yep. Thank you. Your download should begin shortly. If your download doesn't start, please click here. Mine did download, so I don't need to press that. And I just open it and just go with it. I agree. Install. Oh, there's even a support in the website. That's alright. Press next, next, finish. So these are all my these are all my instances that I use. But yours should only look like this. There's only one of this. So if something, if you don't understand anything, like what pop up or something, just close everything. Just close it and I search it here. Sandboxy control. So in here you will find sandbox. You will find this control and then you press this sandbox and then down here you will see create new sandbox you can name it whatever you want or copy from existing sand sandbox it's okay we just name it no just okay and then we have it sandbox like that I'm just gonna delete it because I don't need it because I already have a lot I mean remove sandbox yep now if you have that you just find this the icon then run sandbox and whatever you pick default one two three four okay I'll just do four Set the window. This, this is the master window. You need that. Set the window. I'll just hide it for now. Set the window and hide it for now. Set the window and then hide it for now. Now I'm gonna start the multi boxing. I press that. If I show it, show, show, show. Let me just stop it for a second. Okay. Something did not work. Oh, yeah, there you go. Just wait for this. Oh, there's four. Okay. I'm just gonna press this. I'm just gonna go to the end world. Okay, someone's here. Alright, let me just. Oh man. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna cancel that. I'm going back. Okay, let's see if it works. Testing multi boxing. Damn it. Testing multi boxing. Okay, so I just went to a different world. Oh yeah, I can only do W A S D. I forgot. I didn't open that yet. So I just go in here. Okay, and boom, we got multi boxing. Ta da! Wow! 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 You now have a spammer and a multi box. 
Dum dum punch 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 let's move here dum dum she follow me right there perfect see and then I'm just gonna stop it there so if I'm not using the master window it will not follow me so there is a master window that yep so you can just press this put it in your position press this go to the position like that and then go to master window punch see four time punches I think I'm gonna end it here. It's been an hour and seven minutes. It was an hour and seven minutes. That's a long time. Well, I hope you guys like it. Enjoy your multi software. <laughs>